Hello again, Earl Bob here with another of my short uh, videos about interesting old film cameras that I've had. This one today is about the Olympus XA. This, car, this camera was designed by Yoshisha Maitani. He was a very famous uh, Olympus camera designer. And it was designed, it was sold rather, from 1979 through 1986, roughly. And it's the first camera to ever win what's called the Good Design Grand Prize by the Japan Industrial Design Promotion Organization. And this camera was designed to be one that you could carry with you always. If you notice, it's, it's a very smooth, uh, rounded design, and so it would fit easily slip easily into any pocket or uh, bag you might have and um, uh, it was designed not to have a case or need a case or need a lens cap because this sliding cover would protect the lens the viewfinder and the rangefinder window and when you open it it turns the camera on and turns on the light meter and when you slide it closed then the lens the viewfinder and the rangefinder window are hidden and protected and uh, the camera again takes on this very sleek minimalist uh, uh, design. I bought this camera sometime in the early 80s. I don't recall when exactly um, but I remember I had it with me on a bike racing trip to Austria in 1984 and that year I was involved in a in a bad bike crash where I dislocated my right shoulder and broke my hand. Uh, and while I was still, I was unable to ride my bike anymore, but uh, while I was still in Austria before I uh, went home, I was still able to take pictures of this little camera by holding it with the wrist strap upside down. I could wind the film with my finger. I could slide open the, the case and then hold it up to my eye, focus, compose, and then trip the shutter, all one-handed. And so it was very uh, fortunate that I had this with me. I was able to con continue to take pictures. Um, this camera is a, a full-frame camera. It takes a 24 by 36 millimeter picture and it's aperture priority. Uh, so it uh, has apertures, as you can see on this sliding switch here, apertures that go from f2.8 at the wide open down to f22 is the smallest aperture. And you select the aperture, the camera will select electronically, steplessly, the shutter speed from a 500th of a second uh, out to 10 seconds and that setting will be displayed in the viewfinder. There's a needle that will uh, point to the shutter speed that's gonna be set, and uh, all very handy. So if you open the camera, you set the film ISO down here at the bottom, just below the lens. There's a little clicky lever that you line up the index with the ISO of the film you're using. And, uh, and that's all you need to do to set the film speed. Uh, as I mentioned, it's a true rangefinder camera. In the center of the viewfinder, when you look through the viewfinder, there's a small window and you operate this lever underneath the lens with your finger or thumb. And as you move that lever, the, there's a dual image that comes into alignment when the image is in focus, when your subject's in focus. So it is a true rangefinder, not a zone focusing type of camera. The lens, as I mentioned before, perhaps is a 35 millimeter f2.8, and by all reports that I've uh, read, it is uh, extremely sharp, and I found it to be so myself. And interestingly, the lens does not move when you open up or close the, the sliding cover. The, the lens remains fixed in position, which makes, uh, which, which is good because then some folding cameras where the lens comes out as you open the camera up, there could be some misalignment between the lens and the focal plane, which can lead to unsharp pictures. 
but this one didn't do that. This the lens remains completely stationary. Uh, I believe it's a, a six element, five group lens. And when you move this little lever, you're actually focusing the third group within that lens. Uh, the ISO range is from 25 to 800. And uh, so it encompasses most all the film speeds you might ever want to use. Looking at the top of the camera, you can see over on the far right of the camera is the frame counter. Then you have the shutter release button. And this button is an electronic button. It hardly moves at all. You just lightly uh, press your finger against it and it fires the, the uh, shutter. The model name, XA, and this of course is a rewind crank. And uh, like most cameras of the day, you pull out on that rewind crank to open the, the back to load film and unload the film. And also on the top, uh, this is your film advance. It's a little thumb wheel. And that's how you would uh, advance to the next uh, exposure. On the bottom of the camera, there's the usual tripod mount. There's also a button that you press to rewind the film. And then on the far right-hand side of the camera is a little lever. And the first position out of that lever allows you to have 1.5 uh, time exposure compensation. So that if you're taking a picture with a lot of backlight um, against a bright window, you can pop that lever out and it will alter the exposure by 1.5 f-stops so that you can uh, compensate for that strong backlight. The next position is a battery check position and when you put the lever in that position a very high-pitched uh, sound is made to tell you the battery is okay. The third position is a self-timer and in that position uh, you get about a 12 second delay from the time you press the shutter until the picture is taken. And the neat thing about it is also when the lever is out in that position, it acts like a stabilizing foot. So if you pr place the camera on a, a wall or a rock, that helps to steady the camera so it doesn't uh, fall over so easily. And there uh, was a flash gun available with this camera and it was very cleverly designed to integrate right into the uh, form factor of the camera, screw it onto the end of the camera as so, and then when you open the camera up and you slide the f-stop switch, the aperture switch, all the way to the very top and then a little further, there, it pops up this little uh, clear plastic uh, window, a button, that pops up on top and as soon as a light bulb inside that uh, clear plastic glows an orange color, then you know your flash is charged up and ready to go. Uh, it only takes a single a AA battery for the flash gun, so it does take quite a while for that to recycle. And there you see the light has come on, and now when I trip the shutter, the flash is fired, and to turn it off, you just press that back down. Otherwise, you can pop it up, and in a few more seconds, it'll be ready for another flash picture. And that's about all there is to know about this camera. It was really a handy little camera. still is a handy little camera. I bought a roll of film for it uh, recently, bought a new battery for it. So I'm going to take it out and uh, shoot some pictures and see how they turn out. And... Uh, I might fall back in love with it. It was always such a nice little camera to, to use. So uh, anyway, have a, have a pleasant day. Thanks for watching and uh, talk to you later.